Hey guys, this is Evan Nerd here talking about a very hot topic. I want to say, um, it's about the DC Universe right now and what's to be expected. So if you guys don't know, um, I don't know how long ago it was because I just watched it. The Blitz trailer for Suicide Squad came out and it reveals a lot. If you actually look at the, um, there's more Batman scenes in it, which I have a theory about, but get to that later. I kind of want to talk about how the Joker part of this now, because Joker, um, is not a major part of the Suicide Squad thing. Of course, Harley Quinn is, and all that. Which is kind of different for people because they've always been together, you know, Jokers and Holly. And, but, um, what I like is that the Joker's introduced later in the movie, which I can predict because if you look for a split second, they show the, I want to put it in the, like, President or Secretary of State or whatever, I don't know, her position. I I think I know who she is, but she's like, I want to put together a group of bad people who can do good things. Like, the last shot in the office, I'm pretty sure, it shows pictures of them, and it's like Holly Quinn, Deadshot, which, like, all these people, but not Joker, which I like that he's being introduced later instead of being introduced right away as if he's like a major part of Suicide Squad. Now I sort of also going to tap in Holly Quinn and how the actor's gonna do it because she's a very good actor for it like from the trailer she kind of plays like the joking person and you guys don't know Holly Quinn is actually super smart after and she like sort of shows that in the trailers which is really enjoyable for me personally but for some people that might like they want more of like a joking person rather than like the smart side which I kinda hope they have like a backstory for Holly Quinn in this that'd be really cool but let's go to like um Deadshot let's go with him I think Will Smith is gonna do a really amazing Deadshot so, like I don't know Will Smith is a good actor for me and the fact that he can like portray like just remember we're the bad guys like he recognizes that he's a villain but it sort of seems like he's trying to redeem himself which is sort of how he is like portrayed in a lot of um comic books and comic book series like he's trying to redeem himself and like like maybe if I do this good maybe like I'll get redeemed my family will love me again but like he's even the comic book, so like comic book series, which everyone you do, no judgment here. And, um, he had to like turn sort of insane. I don't want to say insane. Like he like becomes more or less more of a villain. Maybe like less of a hero than more of a villain, which is okay with me. Like that shot's a villain. You know, he's a trained mercenary. He's like like Deadpool without like the wittiness and fourth wall breaking with the DC's Deadpool but not Deadpool because Deathstroke yeah but I also kind of want to talk about Croc now it's obvious that CGI but like the fact that like they included him a lot in the trailers and how He's actually a vital role in the Suicide Squad, and how he's gonna probably, hopefully, be in like a feature villain in Batman movies, and just an amazing character. I also like the person they got, like the voice fits Croc well, like sort of like a serious person. Like, yeah, I'm the villain, but I'm enjoy being the villain. Then it, I sort of want to move on to like. Honestly, not, I don't want to say the less main people, but, like, the less main people, basically. Like, I forgot the names, but 
witch, I think her name is, like, I wish they included her more in the trailers. Like, she has amazing powers and all that. Like, she's, like, legit a witch. So I wish they included her more in the trailers than they did. Like, they could have easily done that. But who knows? It comes out August. There'll probably be a couple trailer releases, or at least one, I hope. That'd be nice, just, you know, get that out of the way, saying, yeah, here, here's the powers they possess. Maybe, like, you know, it's a group movie. Sure, like, it's like a movie, but, you know, it's like, this group of people, so maybe they have individual trailers explaining them, sort of. I've got these two people's names, because I've done more research than, like, the main people, but... It's a guy in Street Flame, which is I'm pretty sure his name's Pyro, if I remember correctly. Like, I like how, like, they, like, tap into his powers and how, like, he can only... His power is more useful when he's angry, like, fire equals anger and all that. And how Will Smith is like, yo, dude, I'm sorry, this is trying to get you the powers. And, you know, it's just gonna be amazing... I hope I see a lot of that because I maybe a standalone movie of Deadshot and Pyro or something. So I hope this is a standalone movies for these characters. And then move on to honestly, I'm gonna call it Samurai because I've done zero research on here. I like her so far what I've seen in trailers because I haven't read Suicide Squad like comics. I've just seen series and read comic books of individual characters, but you know, what I like is that, like, samurais and ninjas and all that, which easily, it's, she's very proud of her culture, I'm guessing, because, like, she's like, yeah, I'm a samurai, deal with it, you know, which I kind of like, which means I hope she's more disciplined and keeps the people, in, like, intact, like, hey guys, you should be doing this, he's gonna kill us, which I hope, like, end up escaping, just killing him, you know, the easy could. Well, let's move on to, like, Batman. Now, this is a split second scene where Batman jumps off. Now, it's, it might be a different actor than Ben Affleck. We don't know. But if you look onto the first Batman scene we get, is Batman driving on, like, he's on top of a car. Which with Joker driving it, which means he's probably facing the Joker or something, or my first theory was he, he's helping the Joker because someone he loves or something, or something's really bad, has been told to do it by the government, so he's like, yeah, cool, I play by your rules, sort of type guy. But if you look at the second one we get in the Blitz trailer, it's actually, um, he's, it's a skinnier suit. So, like, it's more instead of, like, the separation of the parts and all that, it's like, one has back suit, which one theory could be, oh, he has his aqua suit on, like, so he can go in the water and all that, but, you know, I don't think like, that's gonna, like, really tap into more of his, yeah, I guess, technology personality, which I hope they don't. I don't know why, but, like, I kind of like this simplistic Batman, like, Bruce Wayne, like, detective type person. Which, if you guys see Batman vs. Man, which I hope you have, um, kind of taps into that kind of Bruce Wayne. But if you look at the second one, I, it kind of seems like a Dick Grayson type Batman. Like, like son of Batman, you know, like a Robin-y Batman. Like, oh, this could lead to like, the death of Batman. Or a Batman, he's like retired, no one knows where he is, I need to take over, type Batman. Which kind of would be okay with me, because that could sort of lead into a solo Batman movie, along with, I th they sort of set it up in Batman vs. Man Down to Justice, you know. But... What I really hope happens is, like, Dick Grayson, like, they have a backstory for him, sort of. If that is Dick Grayson, Batman, I hope to explain how Batman is retired or dead, whatever they go with, you know, 
I hope they do good because these are like amazing writers and actors. But I definitely think Ben Affleck is going to be in this movie. But I, I'm pretty sure like Dick Grayson is going to be in this movie too. Because it's kind of leads into that. And that split second reveals a lot. No, it's definitely not like, you know, Donna Justice, we're all teaming together, kind of spoiled the plot. So I figured the plot out, pretty much. I already knew the plot when the first trailer came out, but, you know, I'm a comic book nerd, so. But really tap, like, this tra new trailer, from what I looked at, really taps into what potential Suicide Squad has. You know, like, there's a lot of potential with this movie taps into like the dynamics inside the group and the individuality with them whereas like if you kind of look at like past villain movies it's all been like they, they've had individuality but not as much as this like I feel like at any moment Holly Quinn's is gonna go away or Deadshot's gonna kill everyone and go back to his family saying, I did it guys, I did good. Or, you know, Croc, like, runs away in the sewers and all that. Which, I hope, like, it ends up with them, like, running away. Which could set up, so, like, next couple solo movies. No, of course, it's gonna be like, I hope it's not like, um, like, yo, this is like the only villain movie you're ever gonna get. Sorry, like, I hope this turns into more villain movies because villains have really cool backstories like Penguin and all that. No, DC has done this with Gotham, you know, which I hope they tap, like, I hope they do, like, a live-action movie of that, sort of, like, explaining the backstory behind the characters instead of saying, yeah, these characters are a thing, accept it, but we're never going to make a movie on them, which I think Penguin... Like, the Gotham area, not even including Batman, could have a standalone movie. Because, like, oh, the Mafia and all that are, like, taking over. Sort of how, like, Daredevil, which I hope they do, uh, like, I know they have Punisher and all that, but, you know, Jessica Jones could be a thing in Daredevil. But that's a different topic for a different day. But, you know, it could easily turn into so much. If you really look at it, but the I just hope DC turns into more standalone villain movies. Like I hope they get a Gotham movie with no Batman or anything, like the dark side of it, which like still have Bruce Wayne in it as like I don't know like a teenager or a kid or something like a Smallville ish type thing, but like. How he's trying to become a detective like his dad and be a good man, but then he finds out his dad's like secrets. But you know, I'm gonna talk about Gotham and Marvel in different episodes. So, this is gonna call my rant ish. I know it's a longer video than where you guys are used to, but I hope this was enjoying for you. I like kind of doing this, tapping my comic book side. Uh. And let me know if you guys want more rants, theories on new things, what series you want me to do, what universe I should do. So this has been Infinite Nerd, signing out. Goodbye.